Hi guys, this is Lego Yoshi, and welcome to a new Marvel Lego set, which I would do a review of, and it is Spider-Man's Daily Bugle Showdown. Now, the one thing that I have to say straight away, this is actually one of my most favourite sets that I've ever bought. Uh, I remember when it first came out, and saw it, I just had to get it. I was a huge fan of the Spider-Man films, and there's some, at least, there's one character in here that I had to buy it for in particular, but... It's just a really, really good set. So, anyway, let's start with uh, reviewing it. Um, but first things first, this is just showing you the front of the building. But there's much more going on at the back of the building. We'll see what I mean in a second. And here we go. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in this set, but I'm going to go over this in just a, in a minute. Um, there's five figures I need to go over in this, and one vehicle. Um, so, let's get started by having a look at the front of the building. Okay, so here's the top of the building. Uh, right at the very top we have an antenna. Unfortunately, with where I actually keep this set, I have to take it off. But I've put it back on for now just to show you what it should look like. We keep going down and we have a little satellite dish. Uh, for collecting any bit of news that may be coming for the Daily Bugle. And there is the Daily Bugle uh, logo of... I think it stands for Daily Bugle Corporation, I think. Not 100% sure, but each one comes on a separate little tile, which comes on a big long uh, brick to put it on, so you can put it in order. And the next bit, which I'm going to show you, is one of my favourite bits to look at. It is this screen. It is made up of uh, seven square little flat bricks. Uh, each one came with a sticker. I had to make sure you get the stickers in the right order, otherwise it's going to look up, it's going to look a bit daft. And it's basically a video of J. Jonah Jameson uh, clutching a newspaper, angry as per usual, like he always is. So there's a go down. I believe this first window here on this side, this one here, uh, there's a little switch. Is it this one? Or is it, uh, no, it's one further down. I do apologise. I'll come to that in a second. It is actually this one here. This is the uh, second floor. Uh, there is a ladder going down the side, which so you can access all the floors quite easily, and also doors on each layer. So, anyway, as I was saying, there's a little oops, there's a little switch back here. And if you push it, it will knock the window out, as you can see. So you can use it into battle if somebody's attacking it. You can just knock it so the windows come out and you go straight inside. Which also, I nearly forgot about this bit. Uh, there is also a bit up here for the Daily Bugle uh, Corporation logo. And if I can find this the switch, where'd he go? Uh, two seconds, guys. It is back here somewhere. There we go. And it just pops up like so. Like that. And then, obviously, it, it can make a quite a big scene. As if it is attacking some civilians below, and Spider-Man needs to save them before they they get crushed by it. Let's stick that back on. And then finally we have the lower level, which is not much not on the lower level. There's a couple of doors with a couple of handles to let you in. There's a little sticker on top saying DBC. And also there is a web on this side, which you can see from both sides, uh, which Spider-Man has just made to snag a villain. So, on to the next side. Oh, onto the back we go, and there are a couple of other switches, but I don't know which one. I don't know specifically what this one does because there's actually nothing there, unless you want to stand a buddy here, and you put that in, and it knocks him off down into the web to catch something. Uh, there is your switch for your DBC sign to knock it off, which I didn't even show on the camera like an idiot. Uh, this is it here. There is a little another little antenna. And then there is also a little, it's supposed to be a trap door, but more like a secret exit. Um, basically, you push this switch at the side here, and it opens it and closes it. For some strange reason, I can never get it flat, it just doesn't want to stay that way. I suppose something should be going in there, but I don't remember what. Anyway, on to the next floor, and we have, um, I think, is this J. Jumma Jensen's office? Two seconds, I'm just going to... Uh, doesn't really say, but yes, it's. I think it is J. John 
yeah, J, Jonah Jameson's office. And he's just got a little swivel chair for him. He's got his own little computer screen, which obviously you can see he's got a password screen lock on it. Uh, there is a nice little keyboard there. I always like the keyboard uh, accessory if you do get hold of any sets I've got it in. Just with how small the letters are, it does look quite funny. And a little tiny lamp right here. As we move down on another floor, there is your switch for the, for the window to knock it out. Um, this is a, another little office which has a newspaper on top, which, as you can see, is the Lego News. I don't know if I have that in the Marvel Universe, but never mind. Uh, we open this safe here. Thankfully, there's nothing inside, so nothing for the thieves to steal. And then there is a little, I think it's supposed to be like, a, I don't know, it's a whiteboard or a cork board. Um, with tons of different pictures of Spider-Man, as if J. Jonah Jameson is trying to figure out what it is. And once again, another swivel chair for whoever is wanting to sit on it. Then we go down one more floor to the bottom floor, and there's not much here. It's just got the opening doors, and it's just got a little tiny plant for just a bit of decoration, really. And there's also a couple of other little extras, accessories that I forgot to actually add into the first part of the video, but I'll put them in the last bit. Um, you have a little lamp post, which is your bog standard lamp post, and then you have a dumpster, which doesn't really have much, but it just has a little closing lid. Or if you want to open it, to open it. Uh, there is a little flicky thing inside, which I'm not 100% sure if you can flick anything out of. Um, it's quite annoying to grab hold of, but yeah, I don't think it really does much. Anyway, a couple of little accessories for you. And here we have the only vehicle in the set, which is the Doom Jet. And I can pro you can probably guess who drives this. I'll give you a clue. It's a doctor, and uh, his name is actually in the vehicle. And before you ask, it's not Dr. Jet. So anyway, um, it's mostly in nice black, green, white, and grey colour. Uh, with two turbines, one at each side, with a little fan at the bottom, which is a nice little addition, as you can see. Uh, there's a little back part, two little wings to uh, get my camera out. I'm not doing well, my camera would, uh, I'm telling you. Um, yes, as you can see, it's got two little wings just to get your altitude and your speed up. Uh, underneath, there are some missiles. Uh, I don't know if there are two little things at the front are supposed to be missiles or not, but you do get one at either side of them. Uh, if you open up this little cockpit, as you can see, it's actually one of the smaller cockpits I've built for a Lego set. Uh, trying to put the bad guy in there, sometimes he has to just lie down, which God knows how I can see if he's actually piloting it. And also, as you can see, a little string. Um, what have we got attached to the bottom? <gasps> it's a bomb. Yep. Uh, I think Doctor Doom's planning on using the bomb to blow up uh, the Daily Bugle Corporation. So. Spider-Man has got to help him uh, save the day. There we go. Okay, on to the minifigures. First things first, we have uh, Spider-Man, of course. Like I said in the last set, uh, he appears in all the Spider-Man sets, so you do get a lot of copies of him. Uh, I think this is pretty much the same figure as the one that was in the last one, nothing new to uh, note. Um, he does only have one little thing of... Uh, he has one little string of web this time. But apart from that, there's nothing really much else to say about this figure. And the next minifigure we have is Nova. Now, I don't know a huge amount about Nova. Um, he's not one of these superheroes I'm more accustomed to, but uh, there's a nice yellow helmet with the red... I don't know what that is really on top. Um, if anybody knows about it, please comment below. Give me a bit more knowledge. Um, on his front, he has a yellow V, which is for the V Nova, I would imagine, and he also has a yellow belt. Uh, the red studs on his arms are actually his uh, arm jets, which, uh, his hand jets, sorry, not his arm jets, um, used for his power. Now, if I take off his helmet, two seconds guys, obviously I've got to do it with one hand. Um, there we go. He has a little visor, and a little, just normal expression on his face. If we turn it around, we get the more angry expression, which I don't know why, but in this set, I prefer this other face, this one. I think it more stuff, because he's not really all that angry at anything, at least. Anyway, that's Nova. 
the next minifigure is Beetle. Um, once again, not a, don't know a huge amount about Beetle. Uh, he's all red with his uh, Beetle-like eyes and with some body armor on with his little utility belt. Uh, comes with a gun and some nice wings. Uh, the wings attach like uh, the turtle's shells or the uh, Deadpool's katana holder, pretty much. So he just literally puts it under the head. And now we better look at the wings if we can keep them upright. There we go. And that's pretty much his look. There we go. And our next figure is the main bad guy of this set. It is Doctor Doom. Now I know what you're thinking. I never guessed that when he said it was a Doom Jet the Doctor, and his name is not Doctor Jet. Come on, guys, surely you knew that. Of course you did. Anyway, he comes with his usual metallic face, green hood, green cape, and green costume. Ooh, another belt. Uh, I do like this figure. I do like the mold on the hood. It's quite nice. The little folds are at the bottom. I don't know if there's anything underneath the cape at the back, and I've just knocked you over. I do apologise, Dr. Doom. Please don't kill me. Uh, and there we go, it's just the continuation on from the belt, and this green costume. And, whoops, I've completely knocked his helmet off now. I'm not having much luck here today, folks. Uh, anyway, gives us a better look at his face anyway. Handsome fellow. Okay, and the final minifigure we have is J. Jonah Jameson. This is the figure that I just simply had to have. As a massive fan of the first, first two Spider-Man films, I do like the third one, but uh, there is a lot of controversy, yeah, controversy with it, with the villains and everything. But anyway, all that aside. Uh, but the person who I've forgotten the actor's name who plays uh, J. Jameson, Jameson, but he does an outstanding job. He probably the funniest character in the film. I absolutely love it. Anyway, he comes with his typical grey hair and moustache. Uh, it comes in a nice. Uh, grey light blue suit with a red tie and comes with two accessories he comes with a camera just in case Spider-Man comes flying past and he wants to get a picture of him possibly without his mask and also he has a little uh, bit of paper here saying if you can see it or not the true identity of Spider-Man which has a picture half picture of Spider-Man and half picture of a normal face which doesn't really look much like Peter Parker and has a ton of question marks on it, which I think is quite a nice accessory to have. So there we have it, folks. That is Spider-Man Daily Bugle Showdown. Um, just a little bit of facts and stuff about this set. Um, altogether, this set costs uh, thirty-nine ninety-nine, which, in my opinion, is an absolute bargain. Even if you don't go my buy my price uh, price for pieces, um, it's still really really good. I mean. There's so much detail in the set, it's unbelievable. It really is one of my favourite sets. Um, it does have 476 pieces, so it really does fit well in with my price pieces. In fact, you get 76 pieces more than what you would expect. Um, it was released on the 1st of January 2013. And I'm just going to go over a couple of the uh, measurements as well for this, because this, just to show you how big it is. Um, where about are we? There we go. The Daily Bugle measures over 14 inches high. It's 36 centimetres, uh, 7 inches wide at 19 centimetres, and 3 inches deep at 9 centimetres. Whereas the jet, thankfully, is just 2 inches high. As you can probably tell the size difference. Uh, it's 7 inches long and 6 inches wide. Um, just a little bit of background as well for this. Uh, the set features many elements from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show and is similar to the episode Beetle Mania. Well, I've never watched the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, but it probably sounds pretty decent. Uh, J. Jonas Jameson thinks he's deduced uh, Spider-Man's identity. Doctor Doom in his Doomjet and his henchman Beetle attack the Daily Bugle Communications Building to obtain the safe containing the file of Spider-Man's identity. Meanwhile, Spider-Man and Nova try to stop them. So there we go then guys, uh, I think the next Marvel sets I will be doing, let me just have a quick check, might be the Iron Man 3 sets, which there are two, um, it's looking that way, yes, yeah, the next ones will be uh, the two 
Iron Man 3 sets I've got. There are three of together, which I don't have the £20 set, which is uh, Extremist Seaport Battle. Uh, it never really appealed to me, that set, to be honest with you. Uh, but the next one will be, I'll probably go for the Iron Man Mandarin Ultimate Showdown next, as it is a small set. So it shouldn't take too long to film. And it shouldn't be a very long video, probably about between 5 and 10 minutes. And then after that one, it will be the Malibu Mansion Attack. But anyway, we will go over those sets when we get to them. So anyway, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you for the next video. Also, sorry, I know. Um, I do have my Mario Party video starting soon. I mean, I know it's not Lego, but I do have a huge love for video games as well. As you've seen with uh, my video with uh, the Foster's Games reviews. Um, we will be doing another video coming up shortly, which will be coming onto my channel, where we discuss our favourite sets. Uh, I think we're going for favourite three sets each, something like that. But that should be coming sometime soon, or be hopefully sooner rather than later. So, uh, also, like I said, with the Mario Party videos, hope you enjoyed them. Please give them a try. If you don't like them, you don't like them. Fair enough, not a problem. But it's one of my, they are one of my favourite games I've loved most since I was a child. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time. And don't forget, you can now follow me on Twitter on Lego Yoshi Two.